Oh, finally. He's up. Ben, come and sit down. I'll do some breakfast. What do you fancy? Nothing. You've got to eat something. I'm not hungry. Oh, all right. One full English coming up. He said he weren't hungry. What's the matter with you? Don't treat him like he's nothing. Dad, it's all right. She wasn't. You told her you weren't hungry. She should respect that. Or do you have to keep telling that until she does? Sorry, Ben. I wasn't listening. See? That's all you got to do. Stand your ground. Walk away. Do that for six weeks. You wonder what all the fuss was about. Yeah. Now, come and park yourself up there, yeah? You'll learn something else today. I ain't ready to shave yet. You saw bum fluff, boy. Just eat your breakfast, yeah? It's something for your benefit. Now, the sooner you start, the sooner you get stubble. Let's give it a go, yeah? I wish I had a camera. All they need is a couple of hats and a rod. And a toad still to sit on. Wish your brother good luck. Do your teeth and get to school. Good luck, Ben. Here, it's my lucky penny. Uh, ain't you got a shirt that needs ironing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll leave you two men too. Ready? Yeah. Now, take the razor blade, right? Mm -hmm. Stroke it down your face. Like that, until you've removed all the cream. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you give it a go. That's it. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. Oh. You know what, some of these places run really good courses, love. This could be the making of Ben. Here we go, one shaved man, all his own work. Well, you've got 60 years to practice, I suppose. I think it looks cool. If these cuts turn into scars, I'll look really high, bro, I? People will think I've been in loads of fights. Except they won't turn into scars. <sighs> what about if I scratch them a lot, you know, stop them scabbing? Maybe then they'll turn into scars. Just stop doing that, will you? But I want to look tough, you know, get some scars. Just stop it, all right? You don't need scars, it's, it's what's in here, that's what counts. That's, that's what makes someone tough. That reminds me of that chicken story. Chicken story? Yeah. There was this gangster, right, and he wanted this prize-fighting champion cockerel so he could bet on it or put it in tournaments. Or maybe it was a dog. No, I think it was a dog. Has this story got an ending? Anyway, they bring this gangster, this dog, and it's all scarred with broken teeth. I mean, big, mean, real ugly brute. And the gangster looks at this dog and he says, I don't want that dog with all scars on it. I want the dog that gave that dog the scars. Because that's the champion fighting dog. You know what? That actually made sense. I do sometimes. Here you go, Ben. Oh, look, it'd be all right with your blazer on top. No one will notice. Yeah. Go and have a shower, yeah? I'll bring this up in a minute. Still think I'd look tough with a scar. You know... If he wants to look harder, there is one thing you could do. Hey, Royal Opera House, what are these? Yeah, the ballet tickets. Whoa. Well, they're for Ben. You know, a little treat or something for him, you know, for when he gets back home. Now, put them back where you found them. You feeling guilty? No, what about? Stop him, Phil, running, making Ben go inside. Is that what those tickets say to you? Well, along with the favourite foods and the ice cream and the drinks and all the presents I found stacked behind the sofa, a little bit, yes. What do you want to do? I want to see Ben. Wait, everyone, he's coming. Wait till you see what he's gone and done. You ain't going to believe it. It's blocked. What, I've got his... No, 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 I can't. Tell. Wait till you see it yourself. Phil, we're in here, mate. All right, everyone, uh... Have a very warm welcome for the man at the moment, Ben Mitchell. Ah, oh. oh, come here, oh, my grandson. Oh, I love your haircut, darling. You've got to come. It's